In the previous couple of videos, you've seen how to set up a free web domain. You've seen how to create a web page using Kodi. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use another Google Chrome app called SeaQuail. SeaQuail allows you to create database designs and then allows you to turn that design into SQL itself so you can then load it into your favorite database. The first thing you need to do is to have a Google account. If you haven't got a Google account, stop this video, create one, and then come back here. When you've created your Google account, you need to sign in. You sign into Google in the normal way and then click on the SeaQuail icon in Google Chrome. SeaQuail assumes that you're using Google Docs. You then go down to the sign in, having run your cursor over the menu, click and it knows who you are. You can now open up a diagram in my case I've got several ready loaded or you can create a new diagram if that's what you'd prefer to do. I'm going to load up one that I've already created. A database diagram can be very large. If you click on the overview icon this gives you a general window that you can move around to see all the tables you've got in your database. In other videos I'm going to show you how to design the database itself but here I'm much more interested in showing you how to get in, how to move around and we're going to add a table at the side. It asks for a table name. Since this is only a test I'm going to type in test. That's the database table itself and now we need to add uh, fields to that table we can just start signing them in. Notice that the properties drop down has already appeared. I can type in the name that I want to give this field uh, we'll call it test ID and I want this to be an integer because it's going to be an auto number no, it's not allowed to be null. It is a primary key and it is going to be an identity. I can now right click on the uh, uh, current field name, click add column and here I can add another field. And again I can change its properties to whatever I would like it to be. It's that easy. If I want to create a relationship between two tables, I just click on the foreign key and drag to a primary key. That creates the relationship. Oh, always a good idea to click. We now have a relationship. If I want to delete that relationship, just click on the uh, foreign key drag it into some blank space and click again. The relationship is deleted. If I want to delete a table, click on it and click the delete. It's that easy to use. So I look forward to seeing you in later videos where we're going to go into other things in much more detail.